James Monster from Homer Glen. And thank you, Senator Kirk. And thank you, uh, Congressman Bigger, for having this meeting. It's delightful that you come out to talk to us now. I'm kind of speaking to the choir. I just want to make a comment. If a, a corporation uh, constantly spends more money than it takes in year after year, that's malfeasance, I think we all agree. And the uh, director, the board of directors are subject to malfeasance and, and perhaps civil uh, penalties and criminal penalties. So I would suggest that our Congress is guilty of that. And we know the problem you said it is spending, so let's stop spending. Let's take Obamacare and eliminate that, please. But let's also eliminate Planned Parenthood. That's an ugly thing. It shouldn't be taking my dollars. We did make a lot of mistakes, and we're, we're paying for it. And, and I consider that we are in the House of Representatives on probation because this could sway either way. And we're, we're really trying our best, and it's been very frustrating when we have $100 billion in cuts that the other, you know, that, that the Senate doesn't pass that and go along. And it's, it, it is difficult, as I said, when we are only one third of this, of the, the uh, of one third of, uh, of, of the, the groups, the, the executive and the Senate and the House. And we're trying our best and we're going to continue to push and push and push this because we are at a, a tipping, almost at a tipping point where we will, uh, and we've got about two or three years according to the, to the uh, experts before we fall off the cliff and become uh, like Greece and we cannot let that happen to our country. We are the best in the, in the world, and we want to make sure that we get back on track. And it is not easy when you look at the money that goes out, you know, uh, in interest, the interest that we're paying China and Japan and, and several other countries. And now we've turned to the Fed, which is even worse, where they're uh, funding our debt. Ooh. Hello. Thank you. Uh, my name is Diane Kern. I'm from Palos Park. I'd like to speak on behalf of Planned Parenthood and think it should be supplied, should be funded. As a young woman in my 20s making $6,000 a year, it was the only affordable obstetric health care that I could have. So the second thing is I went on the internet to the websites of the oil companies as well as the Security and Exchange Commission. The top five oil companies in this nation made $1 trillion in profits this year. Most of them have exactly the same number of employees. ExxonMobil, however, has cut their number of employees um, by 6,000. Congresswoman Bigger, you just voted to give them $40, million, $40 billion of subsidies over the next 10 years. Now, could you please tell me the justification when there are no new jobs, when they have more than adequate profits, that they continue to receive government subsidies? What is this business with subsidies that produce no jobs and no benefit to the United States because you also just gave tax cuts to the top 400 individuals in this country that make more than the next 150 million people combined. Wow. Yes, bravo! Uh, let me just say, first of all, that I am with you on the, the Planned Parenthood. The problem with some of these things that comes up, and I, and I don't, uh, you know, in these continuing resolutions are not always things that, that we have voted for, but are in the bill, and we need to pass the continuing resolution. But with, with BP, and we, uh, are, we are trying to, to do our, uh, you know, become independent, and we have to do everything to do that. And so if, uh, if I voted for that, then that was the reason. But I, I voted for the continuing resolution which had that in it. 